G'day my YouTube friends, how's everyone going? I hope wherever you are, you're happy, you're safe, you're keeping well. I am really, really looking forward to doing this video. I've got some changes to tell you about. Um, I've also, let's kick this off with some happy mail because I'm so excited. I got my first ever happy mail. I always list my PO box down in the bottom, but you know, I never expect anyone to send me anything. It's just more if anyone wants to send me a postcard or something from around the world, you know, that would be amazing. However, this time someone actually sent me something and it's so adorable. So. The person did ask me not to read this on my channel, so I'm going to respect their wishes. However, they said it was okay for me to show you guys what they sent me. So the person sent me, very generously, first up sent me some stamps. So ones that have been used, which these are the kind of stamps I like to collect anyway because I'm not a huge uh, collector of stamps. I collect just like I put them in a box that I find on letters because no one really sends stamps letters stamped anymore um, most people send you know uh, prepaid stuff uh, this one's from Netherlands it seems a lot of these are from Europe I'm noticing uh, I just thought this was the coolest thing someone took the time to send me and this one I really love too this one's Japanese I think and it's it's I just love the, the artwork look at that it's so beautiful so first day person sent me those and then they sent me some coins. So first up, a Fijian 50 cent coin. Then a, I'm pretty sure this is a current, this is from, mm, I wanna say Iceland. I'm gonna go Iceland. I think I've seen that coin before. This is an Italian 50 lira, maybe. This coin is very hard to make out, but it is an old two cent Australian coin, a copper coin. And these are, this is just totally rusted out. Um, and then we've got a two cent Euro. And we've got a nice shiny Fijian five cent coin. And then lastly, a Singaporean five, I'm guessing cents because I think they are on the, um, imperial so i'm pretty sure they're cents and dollars over in singapore so i am just so excited by this you got no idea you should have seen how happy i was when i got this i was like a little kid in a in a store i was because oh, i've got a po box and i get notifications saying you've got something in your letterbox and i i know i didn't buy anything i wasn't expecting anything and so you should have seen how quick i rushed over there and then when i saw the package i was so excited so you know who you are thank you so much you've made my week especially after this week it's been crazy where i live the storms um we've had 17 days of no sun we've just had constant rain for 17 days and today uh, the uh, sorry today a couple of days ago was the first day when i went and collected the mail it was when i had first it was like sunshine and then a mail and it was just so positive so thank you thank you thank you all right so here we go we're cha we're, ma we're changing things up so instead of me doing a fortnightly stuffing of 1350 i'm adding 50 to it and i'm gonna go half i'm gonna split it and we're gonna go 700 dollars a week i want to try a weekly stuffing um experience because not only is it going to be more videos for you yay I actually find myself some weeks when I give myself $300, say, for example, for spend, I allocate $150 a week. Some weeks I go and I don't spend a cent, but then the second week I'll go and splurge the $300. So I'm curious to see by doing it this way, um, just I want to see. And then it's also going to be more videos for you guys. So here we go. I've got $700. Let's get this onto a tray. All right, now that's onto a tray, let's go to uh, unstuffing. So like I said, that's $700. And I just, I'm curious, I'm just curious. Let's give this a go. So this means I will be putting up stuffing videos every Monday from now on. And what my kind of, what I'm gonna try and do is I'm not gonna put a Caro Cash Collect segment at the end of videos anymore. What I'm going to do is Mondays is going to be cash stuffing 
and Wednesdays I'm going to upload a Caro Cash segment because I'm curious to know how much how many of you actually watch this and are interested in it and that way I'll be able to see by the views because I understand that people click on my videos completely for cash stuffing and not for the Caro Cash segment so if I find that I'm getting more and more views on the Caro Cash segment I might even increase that to maybe two videos a week I can do more of the Caro Cash segments um, and then I'm hoping on Sundays I'm going to upload an unstuffing if I'm and you know if I spend money during the week I can actually because I've been just taking it out of my binders and not actually showing you guys so I'm going to do a, a cash on stuffing and maybe throw in how I budget for that $700 for the next week I don't know I'm going to try that this coming Sunday and I'll see what you guys think so I'm just trying to create more content for you guys because that's one of the biggest requests that I get oh I love your videos but I just wish you did more so I'm, I'm going to try <laughs> um so to $25 left in rollover because what I'm going to do is because of petrol going crazy at the moment and with my now weekly stuffing um, structure I just want to make sure that I always have $50 in here so I'm going to roll over the petrol and if I find I've not spent it I'll just I'm because I basically fill up my car every two weeks I've been finding because I'm still working from home so I'm not driving as much so what we're going to do is we're going to get the rollover binder Go to Feb and I'm going to put $25 and that is the last stuffing for Feb by the way so next time we stuff we'll be popping it in the March envelope and then we're going to give ourselves a still the $150 for spend and we're going to pop that in the spend envelope and then because we have $20 still I am just going to pop in $30 and make that $50 because I just always want $50 because that's about how much it costs to fill up my car with some change and just with everything going on petrol prices and stuff I just will always feel comfortable having the money there I also have done already my receipts however I found in between this video and my last video I found an app called receipt jar because I keep watching Americans talk about fetch and I'm like gosh I wish we had an app like that apparently we do <laughs> I just never knew about it so uh, receipt jar it's a free app all you do is you scan your receipts in there and with accumulated points those points turn into gift cards so if you use my referral code I will get 200 points but you will also get 200 points if you're a new member and you add in the code before you enter your first receipt and if you put my code in when you do scan your first receipt you will get 200 points so it's a win-win and we're making money off money we've already spent so if you are new and you want to join please feel free to use my referral code it would be amazing I'm actually not saving these points for myself <laughs> okay I'm actually saving these points because I'm going to hopefully get to I think it's 19,000 points which is a lot of points if I get to that I get a hundred dollar gift card and I'm going to give that gift card to my mum to spend on Christmas food at the end of the year because it's a lot of money um, when we do our Christmas dinners and lunches and I want to give that to her so mum if you're watching you know this I've already told you about it anyway let's get that hundred dollar gift card for mum all right so Let's go. I'm sorry. This has been the longest intro ever, but I've just been really excited to show you the happy mail and tell you about the changes. So let's get into it. So we are going to be adding $50 to Splurge. Now Splurge has taken a little bit of a hit. I had quite a lot of money starting, $385. I've taken money out. I've made some donations that I, you know, I don't really like to talk about when I give. I just do it. But just because of everything going on in the world, I'm pretty sure it's obvious. So I've helped people of Ukraine and I'm I'm also helping that I've helped the people of the Queensland and New South Wales floods by giving to charities and not just to people charities I also I'm, I'm a sucker for animals so I also gave to the RSPCA because uh, I know animals right now are suffering just as much as people so yeah that's what I've done to to contribute it was money that I'd saved and I was only going to probably spend on useless crap anyway so I feel better at going to a better home so I've going to put $50 in let's go 51 20 40 65 in splurge so I've still got a lovely a lovely amount of money to spend on crap you know what I mean so all right we are getting what are we getting sorry I'm a little bit all frazzled because this is all new to me 
Uh, so we've got 7,000 in the bank. Uh, one, two, 253. So 7,300 dollars. I'm just so excited about this guy. So next video shouldn't be this long. So sorry about that. So 20 is going into SOS. So we have two in the bank. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight fifty, eight seventy. So two thousand eight hundred and seventy dollars now in SOS. And with the goal of getting it to 3K and then we'll reassess. Travel is getting 50. And so now we have five, six, seven in the bank. One, two, 250. So $7,250 in travel. Hopefully that will still go ahead next year. I'm still saving thinking it is. <laughs> Adventure is getting 10. It's kind of exciting too to not be put in this is going to sound crazy actually so i'm used to putting in a lot bigger amounts in these envelopes because i'm doing it just once every two weeks so now i'm putting smaller amounts in in lots of the all the envelopes it's kind of, i don't know kind of fun <laughs> let's just see so we've put 10 so 50 70 90 100 105. i hope everyone's been well it's been a crazy crazy uh fortnight and this is just another reason why i'm excited to do these weekly i'll check in weekly i check in with you guys weekly um because sometimes a fortnight can be a long it feels like a long time you know 50 100 120 130 ten dollars added to carry cash so i'm feeling like this will be better i'll be able to at least give you two or three videos a week now and i'm happy with that i'm really really excited i want to see this channel grow the community's great it's always leave me nice comments and i'm excited to do this not just for myself but for you guys i really am 20s go into po box because this is actually due at the end of this month so i think i only need like 10 or 15 i think it's it says 150 but i got the bill and i think it was 140 i don't know i'll check 100 120 130 135 because if you pay it before a certain amount you get money off it's like only 10 bucks but hey 10 dollars is 10 dollars design is getting 20 so now that's 50 70 90 95 so close to 100 Car insurance will be getting 20. So now that has one, two, three, four, four hundred and twenty dollars. Car rego and CTP, which is our personal insurance, will get twenty dollars. So now that has one, two, three, four hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, five hundred, and that's great because that's due. January next year so and we're we're almost done I was toying with the idea of you know like slowing down and not putting much but I actually feel like I want to get it done quicker then I don't have to worry about that and I can allocate those funds elsewhere because I'm used to putting that amount away now um, I might as well just continue on with it while I can so ten dollars goes to car service and that's one two three four five hundred and twenty dollars and this is more for if, you know, oh, your car needs new tires. This is where that comes from. Uh, personal health will be getting 10. And that now has 50, 60, 65 and 70. And see, cause I had to go to the doctors, I took money out and these are things that I can show you taking out, but I've just not in the past. So this is why I'm interested to do the Sunday video. It may, some weeks it may just be purely budget next week because I've not actually taken any money out. So I don't really take out much money a lot of the times. So these are not um, revolving envelopes where I'm constantly taking from. It's only when I need to, um, but we'll give it a go. So 100, 150, 170, 180, 190. Hopefully you guys are interested and excited about this. Let me just stop for a Pepsi cheers. I realize I've not done that. So cheers to you all. Mm. Oh, it's nice and cold. Again, I said in my last video, Pepsi, I'm available for endorsement. Let me know <laughs> if anyone works for Pepsi out there. Um, so 100, 120, 140, 150, $20 added to gifts. 
and that feels good to have it back up at 150. And so that uh, that's my sinking funds. Let's go on to my savings challenges. And speaking of, <clears throat> if you follow me on uh, Instagram, you would have seen I've put some new savings challenges. I'm I'm obsessed. <laughs> I'm obsessed. So I've done this We're Getting Married challenge because this is probably one of my most requested to do. Um, and I've done it at 3,000 and you might not need to do that much or you might need to do more. So you might have to do this twice or three times. Whatever your budget is, everyone's different. However, I've done different icons. So 20, 50, 100 and 150. And these 150s and even 100s, I know they're hard to hit some weeks. So this is why I've done the 20 and the 50s because sometimes you might need to do five 20s to tick off 100. Do you know what I mean? You do them first, cross them out, and then you can put out 100 instead. Does that make sense? I've done that with some of mine and there's no shame in that. You do these savings challenges however you need to do them to get them done, okay? We're, I'm proud of you just <laughs> giving these a go. So that's that one. And then I've done the oh no emergency. So this was another one that people kept asking for. So uh, you can just set your amount. I didn't want to choose this because everyone's emergency budget's different. Some people like $200 for an emergency, a thousand, whatever. So you can work that out and just, you know, there's an even amount of icons. So all you need to do is, I think there's 50 icons. So, you know, if you need 500 bucks, you've just got to make each icon $10, you know? So that's that one. And then lastly, my heads or tails. I'm so obsessed about doing this and I will do this the moment I finish my Easter savings challenge because I'm not far from doing that one. So once I've done that, this will be my new savings challenge. And then I just thought with Caro Cash, I love coins. This is a cool one for me. So all you need is a coin. You flip it, you put say $10 for heads, $5 for tails, whatever your budget is. I don't know what mine's going to be yet. And just say I get heads, I have to put $10 in. If I get tails, I have to put $5 in that week. So I'm really excited and I'm going to start this one very soon. So if you do want to do this with me, they're all over on my Etsy store. So I'm really, really excited. So sorry about the plug, but, you know, I spent a bit of time on those ones and I'm really excited about them. So weekend away, we're going to give this 40. So I might actually colour in one of these slippers for something different so we're going to put 40 in and we now have one two three three twenty three forty three sixty which is cool very 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 cool this is for something in june so while it feels like a long way away can you believe we're now march like it's it's just crazy we're doing our third week of our autumn challenge this is just Where's this year going? <laughs> it's crazy. So seasonal is getting 20 because that's what week three is and we are now on week three. So this now has 20, 40, 60, 65 and 70. And that's because I've done a $10 bonus. Otherwise, most of you may be at $60 or you'll be more if you've done more bonuses. Easter, Easter is getting 10. So we're going to colour in a $10 rabbit. And we now have one, oh, one, 20, 40, 50. So we only have $50 to go. We'll be done before you know it. And they're already selling hot cross buns, which is insane. They've been selling them since January. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, $20 is going into my Dyson. And I realise I only need 800 for the Dyson, so I don't even need to get to a full thousand here. I may still do the full thousand and put the 200 elsewhere. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> One, two, three, four, four twenty, four forty. So we're well and truly past halfway if I stop at 800. The Apple iPhone round two, ding ding, is getting 20 also. So we'll colour in a 20. now has one two twenty forty fifty so that's cool we're a quarter quarter of the way oh no we're not it's a two thousand challenge <laughs> we're five percent of the way <laughs> okay um no we're not oh don't just don't <laughs> sorry 
Uh, Melbourne Cup, oh my gosh, is getting skipped. I'm so sorry. This is really disorganized today, but I'm just going with it. Christmas is getting $40. So we're going to color in two Santa heads. This challenge is actually going to get finished quicker than I thought doing this way because if I still do $40 each week, I was previously doing $60 a fortnight, but because I've got them at set at 20, I have to do either, maybe I can do 40 one week, 20 one week. I don't know if I'm going to do that or if I'm just going to continue doing 40 and just save more. I'm saving $20 more now doing it this way. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 20, 40, 60, 80. Can't wait to be done once and then we get on to our second and final time. $500 challenge is getting 10. So, where's the $10 pile right here? Love doing this $500 challenge. I've also got it now in 250 as well if people wanted a smaller challenge. 50, 70, 80, 90. Because I get a lot of comments, people buying these saying they're actually doing these for their sinking funds as well and just using savings challenges for sinking funds, which I think is a great idea rather than trackers. $3,000 challenge, we'll be getting the remaining 40. So we'll color in a $40 circle. And this now has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 20, 40, 60. So there you go. I'm not going to put in a carrot cash, which is feels weird, but look out for that on Wednesday instead. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Obviously, uh, I'm just kind of doing this because of um, most of the feedback saying that you guys want more videos. So let me know what you think about this. Hopefully you like it. Um, Pepsi cheers to you all. And thank you so much again to that person who sent me the fan mail. Thank you to um, everyone who sent me happy mail, so fan mail. <laughs> uh, thank you to everyone as well who have, has already used my receipt jar coupon code um, because I've been advertising that on my Instagram. Thank you. Um, I'm, get, I'm getting up there now in points and I really would love to get to that larger amount for mum. So if you are new to it, please consider using that. That would be very much appreciated. And yeah, stay safe and I'll see you in a couple of days. It feels weird saying that. Sweet. Bye.